Hey, it's Finesse Mitchell. We're here live backstage at the Shaq All-Star Tour in L.A. And when I'm in L.A. and just on the road, I'm online all the time reading Human Mail Mag. Peace. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's Capone. That's right, live here. Two of the brothers that is uh, killing the Shaq All-Star comedy tour. I took it personally that I felt that I had to interview my man because I know a lot of people wanted to know about <laughs> Tony Roberts. So I particularly wanted to interview him myself because I feel like uh, we've been doing this thing for a long time. Yeah, and we right. finally getting some of the recognition that we need. How yeah. do you feel being in the game over 20 years, do you feel like at this point in your career, uh, you know, because in the careers go in valleys and peaks, yeah, is this yeah. a point where you're probably more known than ever or is it the same to you? You know, I think it's more known than ever in the last three or four years when the tours start popping, the, uh, we get like, but more of like the Def Jam and the, more of the, you know, how, um, what you call it, the P. Diddy thing, right. all that happened in the last four or five years, we started popping that off. Then, as we killing that, you think it's something going to come out of that bigger, right. but you got to keep pushing. Sometimes comments get caught up in, especially long, during the longs we have, sometimes you slip into that, hey, I should be here by now. But right. now, it's God's time. When he wants you there, you're going to get there. So we just keep pushing. You know, right. you know how long we've been knowing each other? Oh, definitely. We, I don't know how long we've been going up with, with, with comics and, and deading them out. You know, right now we the anchor man on the Shaq tour. <laughs> Everybody, we call it the preliminaries. <laughs> and then here we come back to back, and maybe we've been killing them. I um personally. We need a show. We, yeah. you know what? I'm telling you, uh, it's going it's going to be in the works. Because when you're on the cusp, when you're on the cusp, you don't know about this. All right. When you're on the cusp, and you're there, and everybody see you there, right. it's the most frustrating thing in the world. Bernie Mac went through it. Right. Everybody in the Kings of Comedy had a show but him. He even said it on there, y'all scared of me, Hollywood. Y'all, that's my Bernie Mac impression. Y'all don't want me. <laughs> I'm the worst impression in the world. But it happened. Before he passed away, he got his due. Look, you know, it happened. Uh, I, I want to say this to you. Um, being a person who definitely respects your craft, and I'm not just saying this because you're you here, I feel I feel that you have made me a great comedian because you're you're you, everybody knows you're you're probably the most powerful guy in the game hands down, and I for me that. to close behind you is is an honor because it makes me look good just as well. Dude, like, wait a minute, I was just telling somebody <laughs> they was asking me about the tour. Right, I'm just telling somebody the same thing. I said, well, me and Capone go back to back. We was in a. Uh, we was on a tour together. Remember, one of the yes, strongest right. four we ever been involved with. Uh, the top dogs the of comedy. Top dogs of comedy. Me, Capone, Will Sylvans, and Rob Stapleton. Right. Every night, those two would host or go first. Right. We have to headline or go third. Exactly. But every night, I'm like, damn. <laughs> we pull out the hat. I had to go last. I know next, Capone got to go before me. And I'm telling my man. Every night, I'm like, I don't even smoke cigarettes, but I need a damn cigarette. Oh, I got to come out there. I had to wear a cape and a mask and be super dude. And follow this. <laughs> and it's been like that ever since we've been knowing each other. We've been pound for pound. And we got two different kind of styles, too. We're both loud. We're both quick. I'm a little faster. Yes. You know, he's hard. <laughs> It's bananas, dude. I don't know, dude. We need to we need to do something. Oh, something has definitely happened. I mean, I'm I'm giving you and I'm saying in the front of the world, everybody knows that you are the comedian's comedian. Every right. every headliner in the business is scared to follow you. Um, as I said, it's it's definitely an honor. But what I need pretty much to hear from you, I know the frustration sometimes when you're right at the point of mm -hmm. moving forward and um was there ever a point that you looked at somebody else's career and said that should have been you? Yeah, yeah, a few times. And I snapped out of it, you know, and it will be, you know. But then you're thinking, um, like back in the day, they used to let four or five people. And I know Hollywood is going to be Hollywood. Right. Now they let one guy, one brother in at a time. They right. let him one through the door at a time. 
they let the Cat Williams, the Mike Epps before him. Now it's Kevin Hart. Right. Five or six guys like the Kings of Comedy not going through it there. Right. Back then when Def Jam first started, five or six of them leveled up. Right. They're not happening no more like that. I don't know why, but um, we getting ours. Yeah. Believe that. Oh, yeah. I walked through. Some people don't even recognize me in my own family reunion, and I think it's bullshit. But, <laughs> hey, we go to airports. People, right. People, you know, it's happening. We're well, strong. We can't, definitely. You can't stop us. If you stay funny, it's going it's to find you. It's going to happen. That's right. And you've been true to the game. Yeah. You've definitely made me a believer. I am honored to work with you on this tour. And all I got to say is, America, look out. For because they say that Hollywood ain't letting two brothers in at the same time. We walking through. It's Capone, Tony Roberts. We're gonna do a show called Open This Fucking Door. <laughs> what you waiting on? Human Meal TV. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. <laughs>